Okay, I just feel like doing this one just because. So, my, uh, might get emotional, I don't know. My, these are my feelings about, like, dating and <clears throat> my boyfriend. In the past, I remember ever since I was little, always wanting to find happily ever after or true love. I wanted it so badly that I was willing to take abuse and crap from other people, other guys I dated, to not realize I deserved so much better than what they were doing to me. I didn't realize I deserved better than them. And I let them push me around. I was stupid enough to let them hurt me. That had to have been one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made. Was wasting eight months with the first guy and four years with the second guy. The first guy wasn't, he wasn't as bad as the second guy. He took more from me than the first guy did. He brought on more abuse, more pain, more suffering. He was very controlling. Not gonna say his name, not worth it, but he was <laughs> just not a nice guy. He didn't treat me right. I don't know why I put up with him. I think that was stupid. It was my own fault for thinking he would care or that he would change. I was stupid enough to think he'd change for me. Yeah, right? After that relationship ended, I'll be honest, I didn't think that I deserved real happiness or real love. I couldn't make it with him or with any other guy or with the guy before how could I possibly make it with anyone else I would think to myself constantly why would anyone want a person like you why would anyone want someone with Asperger's like you why would anyone want a girl like you you're not special you're not important you're worthless I had been told by people I was worthless, so I began to believe it. Then I decided to try LDS Singles, the dating site where my mom met my stepdad. And they're really happy together. So I figured, why not? Maybe I'll have a chance. I started back in June, I think. It didn't start out very well. Not very many people message me. They'd send smiles now and then, but if I ever sent one back, they wouldn't start a conversation with me. Or they just, if they start talking to me, they'd only send two or three messages and completely lose interest in me. Like, I wasn't that special. It's kind of like, oh, okay, you're not interested in me? Whatever, I'm not interested in you. That went on for quite a while. Around Halloween time, I was about ready to give up and just, I was almost close to closing my account. Because I figured, this isn't working. Nobody's going to like me. Nobody's going to choose me. Why even try? I was this close to giving up hope. To losing hope completely. But then, everything changed. It was the beginning of November, like the second or third day, I don't even remember. I remember it was the first week in November. Someone actually took an interest in me. He messaged me first. I can't remember exactly word for word what it was, but he told me he noticed that I had Asperger's syndrome like him. He mentioned that, and he said that... He noticed I was an anime lover, cartoon lover, just like him. 
and animal lover too. He told me I didn't have to reply if I didn't want to. I, when I read that, it wasn't just a short little, hey, what's up or anything. It was a sort of long message. He was taking an interest in me. Now, I wasn't one to just shoo him away. I, I linked it, looked over his profile, and I thought, this guy's pretty interesting. Maybe I'll talk to him. So I wrote my reply. On that site, they have a politely decline button, and I wasn't about to click it, no. I was going to start talking to this guy and see where it went. I'll be honest. I thought after the first few talks back and forth, he'd lose interest and move on. Because my self-esteem was so low, I figured... Maybe he'll lose interest like everyone else. But no, he proved me wrong. He'd write long, huge paragraphs back and forth between each other. I remember telling my mom and dad the first time about it, like, Hey mom, dad, guess what? I started telling them about this guy who would message me. It was like, it was so awesome. I was so excited to tell them. I would tell them about it every time I saw them. I'd be like, I'm still talking to that one guy. Oh, you still are? Oh, really? I'd tell them the cool things I was learning about him, and my life seemed to get better. I started to become happier again. I started to light up again. My parents noticed that, and they were so happy for me. Like, they hadn't seen me that happy in a long time, so it was nice. I mean, I'd always come across happy, but I seemed overly happy, like extreme. And I was, more than anyone would really ever know. We kept talking until about December on LDS Singles, and I said, don't worry, we didn't stop talking. But then both our memberships ended up expiring on there, so we couldn't message each other back and forth anymore. So... We added each other on Facebook, and then we started to continue our conversations there on messages. But then even that, I just figured, hey, would you want to start texting? So we started to text. And that turned into an everyday thing. All day long, every single day, we would text each other. And that was one of the funnest things ever, getting to text him every day. I loved it. And I still do. I love this guy with all my heart. I love him more than I love myself. And being a Leo, I know we Leos tend to love ourselves a lot, but, you know, I do love him more than he'll probably ever know. He changed my life. He... He brought happiness into my life again. He brought love back into my life. And I was... He showed me what it really feels like to be truly loved. To be truly cared for. Adored. Appreciated. He showed me what real love is. And he showed me that I matter. That I'm important. And I couldn't be any happier than I am with him. About the beginning of January, I think it was the first week of January, we decided we decided to start dating. I mean, we haven't met in person, but anyways. We already decided that once he moved to Utah, we would plan to date. But then I was like, you know what? This is taking too long. I'm sick of waiting. I don't want to have to wait clear till you move to like March or April or later to, to start actually dating you. I'm like, why can't we just date now? We both know already that we love each other. Oh, I have to back it up a bit. It took a lot of courage. It took a lot of guts. But we both confessed to each other that we were falling for each other. My heart dropped when he told me how he really felt. I was like, oh my gosh, 
what, what, I'm not being tricked here, right? But I was like, oh my gosh, he actually loves me. He actually loves me. That is, oh my heck, that's amazing. I can't believe he cares about me this much. I'm not all that great. Why, why me? I mean, I'm not the most perfect girl in the world. He could probably do so much better than me, but he chose me. Me. You know how happy that makes me feel? He chose me over all the other girls out there. He chose me. I'll admit, I am. Okay, don't hate me for this. I have to get this out of my system, but... I'm envious of his ex, okay? I do not like her. I do not like the way that she treated him. I know how she treated him, he's told me. And I gotta say, I'm disgusted. How can you do that to someone? How can you, it's one thing to forget one time, but three times in a row, how can you do that to somebody? How can you break their heart like that? How can you just, oh, just and then after all that, decide, I don't want to be friends anymore. Really? Really? You already broke the guy's heart, and now you're ditching him? Like, not even going to be his friend anymore? Well, whatever. I don't even, I didn't even like the fact that they were friends to begin with. I was, yeah, I know, Aubrey, jealousy. Blah. But anyways, I'm envious of her because she had him first. I'm jealous of that. Sure, I'm... Five years younger than him, but that's not a big deal. But even back then, that, that wouldn't have... Uh, if I could have been the first, back the time he probably met her, I would have been too young. I would have been too young for him, so... I would have been under 18, so it wouldn't have worked. So in a way... I think we met each other at the time we did for a reason. I think we were both meant to go through struggles and heartbreak until we finally found real love. I think we were both meant to meet at the ages we did for a reason. We were meant to find each other at this time for a reason. I believe there's a reason for everything, especially love. But I love this man. I love him with all of my heart. And I will do whatever it takes to prove to him that I'm the only girl that will ever, well, you know, blah. I'll do whatever it takes to keep him happy. I'll do anything I can to bring a smile to his face. And I never want to be the reason he's sad. I never want to be the reason for heartache for him. Never. I could never forgive myself if I caused him heartache or sadness. I could never forgive myself. He is special to me. And he means absolutely everything to me. I love him now and I'll love him forever.